And those things, like in prison, that's you're keeping hardened criminals in a certain spot, right? And in war, you're trying to keep your enemy who's trying to shoot you away from you. What were they trying to block with this wall? What was the point of the wall? What's that? They won't let people escape. They won't let people escape their country. So who put the wall up? What's that? The East. And East Berlin, is they are controlled by the Soviet Union. And so this is one of the things, when we're talking about the goals of the Soviet Union, they wanted to protect their borders. And they needed to protect their borders from democratic influence. So if they left that border open, people from East Germany could very easily see that the West was having an easier time of things. But they had more choices. They had more prosperity. And they didn't want their people to see that because then it wouldn't strengthen communism. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the, so they're keeping their borders really, really tight that way. Um, so today we're going to we're going to split up and do what we call parallel teaching. That's where Mrs. Steeler takes part of the class and I take part of the class, and so that you can have um, more one-on-one -on -one attention, and so that we can get more voices heard. And we're going to talk about goals of the USSR. Last time we talked about goals of democracy. So we split up this way so that um, our time is better spent, and you guys have time better spent, but I want you to listen very closely what to bring. Your personal folder and your laptop. Do not forget those things, otherwise we're going to have to be coming back. Question. Um, what, kind of, what part of Berlin would you be? Well, it wasn't really a choice. That's part of the, that's no, part of the issue. They just mean, built the wall. You no, didn't have a choice. You're separating the class. Oh, oh <laughs> we're not role playing it that way. We're not role playing it that way. Right. I guess if, if I'm the one separating, then I'd probably be the communist because they were the ones more active in the separation. So um, I'm going to read off who's coming with me. We got Stephanie, Julio, Hanaya, Sam, Melvina, Ken, Amber, Dale, and Anna. Grab your stuff. We'll be there for the period. So definitely make sure that you're ready for that. Um, and grab your laptop. I got one up there you can take, um, Melvina. And we'll be there for the period. Yep, bring all your stuff. We'll bring, I'll bring your folders back at the end, so make sure you have everything you need. Open. 
open it to the inside. Okay, because the front side is all goals of the U.S., and now we're going to talk about goals of the USSR. And so the first two words we have on here are the two goals. So with the U.S., we only talked about one goal. That goal was containment. This time, with the USSR, we're talking about two goals. One is expansion, and one is protection. So with expansion, what does it mean to expand? To make it bigger. To make it bigger. Like, so if we're going to expand North High, we would add on, right? We would bring more students, we would bring more teachers, we would add on to the building. If I have an expanding waistline, my waist is getting bigger. You know, like everything that's expanding, it's growing, it's getting larger. And so if the USSR, if one of their goals is to expand, what is it that they want? Robert, what do they want? They want to gain land and resources. They want to gain land and resources, and permanently so, right? So they want to keep their land larger. Um, so you've got to think about it. all of the things they do, the strategies they have after this point are to reach either that goal of getting larger, more land, more resources, or the other goal. And it's protectionism, which just means to protect, like they want to protect their borders. What is it that they've got sitting back in their memory that makes them think they've got to protect their borders? What's happened to their country in the last 30 years? Did you forget something? What's happened? I know Robert knows. Who else can remember? What happened to the Soviet Union when it was Russia for the last 30 years that makes them want to protect their borders? Okay, so raise your hand if you think you know. I've got a couple more people. I want to make sure. Do you have an idea? Yes? Okay. All right, Marche, what was it you were going to say? Yeah, Germany invaded Russia twice. In each of the last two world wars, they invaded them. And so the Soviet Union, they're a little bit nervous. So they're going, everything they're going to do in this next, in, during the Cold War is to protect their borders or to expand their influence, to expand their land. So first thing we're going to do is I want you to, um, this first one says satellite state. And you're going to read the definition from that definition, draw an image, okay? So like we've done before. And then we're going to come up with how does that help them achieve one of those goals? How does that help them either expand their borders or protect their borders? Okay. So um, who would like to read this first one for us, Satellite State? Greg, do you want to read for us, please? Okay. Who would, do you want to read, Gabby? Could you read for us just under Satellite State? Okay, so when we talk about a satellite state, satellite states are not, oops, satellite states aren't necessarily strong states, they're not strong countries. And so here, all of these countries here, East Germany, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, these are all satellite states. So what does it say about them? It says, the Soviet Union forced these countries to become communist. Why does the Soviet Union want them to become communist? How does it help them for these smaller countries to become communist? If we're thinking about their two goals of expanding and protecting, how does this help them expand and protect? When they, like, want to get resources. Mm -hmm. So now any resources in Romania or Poland? How does it... How did these little countries help protect this country up here? Oh, no. Oh, I thought you meant. Yeah. No, you're good. You were on track. Because the, um, the enemies have to pass through those countries. Absolutely. So even though this country is huge and it's really strong, they've, they've now created a buffer zone with these smaller countries. So that's like, if I don't want to fight Corbell, I just keep Rania right in between us. So this way, oh yeah, he doesn't... He has to fight her first. And that gives me time, right? That gives me time to build up, or maybe he won't beat Rania. And so then, like, that protects me. And so that's one of the things of the satellite states is it protects them. And then what Marche was saying is it also expands them because now 
whatever resources are there in these satellite states, the Soviet Union has some control over. But these countries are weaker than the Soviet Union, and so they have, like they rely on the Soviet Union for economic structure and government structure, and so they kind of become, they rely on each other. So in this picture, where would, what kind of image would you draw there that would help you remember this term, satellite states? So take about two minutes to draw a picture that helps you remember this term. You don't have to be excellent at it. There's something to help you remember. So like it can be a diagram, it can be a set of words. Once you've drawn your picture, make sure you write in the next box how this reaches the Soviet Union's goals. How does this help them expand their borders, or how does this help them protect their borders? So make sure that you've got both boxes filled in. All right. Who has an image they would like to share of this one? Who feels like they got a pretty good image there? Did you fill, make sure you fill in this box, too. Fill in that box, too. You didn't fill in either box. I'm over here. an image of satellite states. Jimmy, do you want to share yours? No? Anyone have an image they want to share? Do you want to share your picture? You all are so shy. Mine is ugly, but I mean, yours is ugly, but it's what you say. Well, come, come share your image with us. Thank you for your confidence. I like that. 